Okay, so let's solve this particular equation, and we're supposed to keep it as a decimal and round to the 1. And we'll do that rounding at the end if we have to. When you're looking at something of this nature, when you have a numerator and a denominator, and actually, as you can see, we have our n that we're going to be solving for on both uh, the top and the bottom. Um, first, what I like to do is I do try to simplify as much as I can. There's actually no brackets here. However, uh, what I will point out, you know, you the watcher to, is that uh, when you're working with these, oftentimes you will have terms where there's only simply numbers that you can simplify quite a bit. So for instance, 3 times 3.3, .3, and then this 2.7 times 4. And then at the bottom, I can also simplify because I have some additions. I have a 3 plus n plus 4. So let me simplify this first. So 3 times 3.3, .3, so I'm going to get 9.9 .9 plus, okay, so 4 times n, so nothing to do there. And then 2.7 times 4, so that's going to be 10.8. That's what we have there. Now, in the uh, denominator, okay, this, this 3 that you have and this 4, because it's addition, you can just simply go ahead and add them when it's going to give us 7 plus n. On the right-hand side, we have 3.19. So now, What's next? Well, I can still actually simplify this uh, a little bit. I have 9.9 .9 here on top, and then I have, okay, so this 10.8, okay, notice that, again, I have all additions. So I can actually add those, even though they're not side by side. Okay, so here, you know, that 9.9 .9 and then the 10.8, I can go ahead and, and add them up. Now, of course, you can just, you know, use your calculator if you like on this one. So it's going to give us 20.7. So we have 20.7 plus 4n divided by 7 plus n equals to 3.19. So this is what we have. And now what I can do is because I have my variable in the numerator and the denominator and that's not what we want ever okay we ideally want to have our variables in the um, numerator so that we can solve it so in order to get rid of okay so this whole thing right here I will have to multiply okay both sides by 7 plus n Okay, so that it cancels that, but it will appear on the opposite side because I have to do that to both sides. So now I have 20.7 plus, okay, so 4n equals, okay, and then on the right-hand side, I can get rid of that 7 plus n. Okay, I can distribute this across. Okay, I have to multiply it by both. Okay, so here I will have so 3.19 times 7. So it is 22.33 plus 3.19n. Okay, so now what? Now hopefully, you know, you're seeing that I have Okay, this 4n on the left-hand side, and I have this 3.19n on the right-hand side. So I'm going to shift okay, and bring this on the left, and then my numbers will go on the right. So that will give me 4n minus 3.19n equals to 22.33, that's that, minus 20.7 okay so I shifted those over so now let me collect these like terms okay, and get the answer right there okay so I have 
So 4 minus 3.19 is 0 0.81 n equals. And then I have on the right hand side 22.33 minus 20.7. That is 1.63. Okay. Now, dividing both sides by 0 0.81. Okay, to get rid of that. And so that yields now 0 0.81. It's going to be, so this is 2.01 and so on. But they did want us to round to the 1. Okay, so notice rounded to the 1. So my answer, n, is equal to 2. And that's how you go about in solving these equations where they have the variable both in the numerator and denominator. All right, so thank you for watching, everyone. I hope that you found it useful. Okay.